Hi YouTube, this is OsoX for 00x.com on YouTube at 00x vids, that's 00x all one word, no spaces. On Instagram at Quantic Films. On today's video, part 3 of the Dream Computer 3.0 Plus computer setup, we'll be showcasing the Sentry 3.2 computer. First, we will have a day. This all real with the tell specs of the Dream Computer 3.0 Plus setup. Second, we'll benchmark the Sentry 3.2 computer. And third, we'll have a night sizzle drill displaying and showcasing the whole setup RGB lights at night. Let's get on with it, shall we? Now remember, as always, we have timestamps in the description below so you can skip to different sections of this video. Don't forget to click on them if you want to move forward to the other parts or the other sections on this video like the night reel and the bench marking. Right now I'm going to proceed with the specs and the day scissor reel of the whole computer setup. This is the computer setup which has the Sentry 3.2 computer at the center of it. The Sentry 3.2 computer specs are as follows. The parts and components are the CPU processor is an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X 8 core 16 threads 4.4 GHz processor with the stock RAID Prism LED cooler. The primary graphics video card is an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super with 8 GB of memory. The secondary graphics card is a PNY NVIDIA Quadro P620. The motherboard is a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi ATX with PCIe 4 bandwidth. The memory is G-Skill Trident C RGB series 16GB of it, dual channel SD RAM at a DDR4 at 3600MHz cache latency 18. The primary storage is a Gigabyte Aorus NVMe Gen 4 M.2 500 gigabytes with PCI Express 4.0. It has a Generation 4 interface, full body copper heat spreader, and it has Toshiba 3D NAND technology, that's DDR. This is a PCIe 4 part, which has those read and write speeds that we want. The power supply is a power spec 850 watt 80 plus gold ATX fully modular power supply with RGB lighting provided by a micro center. The Wi-Fi RGB fan kit, deep cool MF120 fans, 56 CFM 120 millimeters. We have three of those with their fan controller, their Wi-Fi. The computer case is a Roswell Prism S. ATX mid tower white with RGB fans included. Now, other parts on the setup are the BenQ 4K resolution EL2870U 28 inch 16 hertz free sync monitor that we have right here. Also, we have an external hard drive, it's a Toshiba 1 terabyte external USB 3.0 hard disk drive. The headphones we're using for gaming are the SteelSeries Arctis 3 7.1 surround sound headphones. The keyboard is a G-Skill KM360 Professional 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX switches, that's Cherry MX Red switches, ABS dual injection keycaps. Our mouse is the Razer Dead Other Overwatch Edition series and an optional part is the secondary storage which is a Aorus AIC 512GB PCIe SSD NVMe. Our sound card is the Sound Blaster X G1 USB 3.0 7.1 surround sound external sound card. The microphone I'm using for voiceovers is the Audio-Technica P48 and our MIDI controller and digital piano is the Casio Privia that you can see on the right. Now the list of all these parts and all these components 
are listed in the description below next to their affiliate link where you can buy these parts at the best prices we uh, hunt for online. So you have Amazon links for everything in there and you can check the detailed specs. Don't forget to also check the description below for the timestamps, the playlist, the Dream Computer 3.0 Plus Computer Setup playlist is in there as well as the gaming section and the music section where we have my original music for the album Escape by yours truly also X and you have all the original music videos in there as well as a cover of Let It Be by The Beatles. Now next we'll start with the benchmarks of the Sentry 3.2 computer the Sentry 3.2 computer itself but first I would like to thank Angel Ramos at Micro Center for helping us getting all these parts and getting these numbers on the benchmarks. First off is a Cinebench Release 20 where the processor got 4,800 points and scored fourth on the list of processors. Single core performance in Cinebench R20 is uh, 502 points and it performed first. MP Radio is 9.56x. Now on um, Blender, we have the BMW test where uh, the render time is 229.907 and on the classroom uh, benchmark on, on Blender, the render of the classroom was 753.095. On Heaven benchmark 4.0, everything to the highest setting. 1920 per 1080 Full HD resolution, 8 times AA. Custom preset ultra quality tessellation extreme. We got 2764 as the score. Same settings, the highest on 1440p will get a score of 1516. And 4K on a 4K monitor, same settings, we get a score of 797. That's everything to the highest graphic settings on Heaven Benchmark 4.0. Let's try Assetto Corsa. On the Assetto Corsa benchmark tool inside the game, we got a score of 19,495. That's highest graphic settings again. On the same test, on the same benchmark test at 1440p, we get a score of 15,586. And same test, 4K resolution, the score is 10,300. Now you can check the detail frames per second and all the other aspects of the computer here on a close-up. Now we tried it on an older game, which is uh, Hoax 2, Tom Clancy's Hoax 2, which also has a benchmarking tool. You get a maximum frame per second of 770, an average frame per second of 387. That's everything on high graphics, again, the highest settings at uh, 1080p, that's full HD resolution. At 1440p, we get a maximum frames per second of 325 and an average frames per second of 194. Now, the same test, highest graphic settings on 4K. At 4K resolutions, we get 262 frames per second maximum and the average frames per second is 172 FPS. We tested it on Tomb Raider. On HD, maximum settings, minimum frames per second is 142, max frames per second 224, average frames per second 190. Same test, on 1440p on Tomb Raider we get 88 as the minimum frames per second, max frames per second is 152, average frames per second 119. Tomb Raider at 4K will give us a minimum frames per second of 48.4, max frames per second 72, average frames per second 62.5 and a much newer game we tested on Forza Horizon 4 we have the system on the left on the right we have the settings with the recommended settings we turn on everything is in either ultra or high the average latency is 90 the GPO limited percentage 100% and then we have the results on the screen. You can check all the frames per second, average, minimum, maximum. The same now for 1440p. The scores have changed, not that much, but they have changed. And on the right side, you can see all the settings and the graphic settings. In the middle, you can see the scores will be average, minimum, and maximum frames per second. You can see the same for 
uh, 4K coming up next. Right here. The 4K results are on the screen and on the left you can check the system which displays all our specs. Now coming up next will be a night sizzle reel of the Sentry 3.2 computer on the Dream Computer 3.0 Plus computer setup. And right now you're listening to my song Trap in the Sea or Trap in the Sea from the album Scape by yours truly, also X. Don't forget to check my SoundCloud and my Bandcamp or the playlist, the section on my channel that's labeled music. The music section will have all the original music videos. And here it is. The Dream Computer 3.0 computer setup in all its RGB glory. Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video if you liked it. We're running four giveaways you might want to uh, sign up for by subscribing and commenting. Enjoy the season reel. Thank you for watching. This was also x 0 xcom on YouTube at 00x, on Instagram at Quantic Films. On YouTube you can search for 00x space bits and you'll find us. Again, thank you for watching and peace.